are officially in Arkansas. It's 51 degrees, 11 11. Make a wish. I wish we kill two long beards in two days. <laughs> it's what's going to happen. Kyle here, Nate, the real Plainsman Dodson. And uh, we're officially in Arkansas. We just got like 30 minutes, I guess, until we're at Location. And uh, I know. Mountains? Those mountains? Those are mountains. He's uh, not used to seeing very many of them. He's used to more like flatness. And uh, he's not seen very many thick hardwoods. And this is his first time hunting eastern turkeys too. He's only hunted Miriams, so. Well, we're here. We've been driving since five this morning. It was a little, got a little late getting stuff in the truck, but it's all right. We're almost there, almost there. We're planning on hunting four full days at least all right most four full days we're going to hunt today probably try to get out this afternoon do some scouting maybe take shotguns with us of course but uh watch out arkansas longbeards psa right here public service announcement we're coming for you Especially here in Arkansas and uh, the good man that let us stay at his place what a place man what a beautiful cabin check out this view yeah Arkansas Ozarks baby we're here we opening day is today we're gonna, tr we're gonna try to get we're gonna get unpacked get our stuff in the house and change clothes we'll see if we can get on one this afternoon it is 12 15 so we're gonna see if we can get on one get one struck maybe this afternoon buffalo river's right down there so dude this is this is an awesome place what an opportunity we're gonna see if we can get one struck up so stay tuned guys planes and outdoors kyle and nate here arkansas ozarks baby day one we're here opening day Arkansas turkey season. We're here in the Arkansas Ozarks. We are ready. We are ready. It's like one o'clock, something like that. We'll see if we can get an afternoon bird on the ground. Two guns. Hopefully, get two birds on the ground today or tomorrow. That'd be flipping awesome. So, stay tuned.
videos, they'll sneak around. They're down here, and there's like three or four. Maybe. And, uh, they were, uh, they were down in this holler here. I don't know where they went. They, they must have kept working down or something. I don't know. But we're in them. That's good. I think I've got maybe zero to one gobbles on camera. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll learn to turn the camera on before I start calling. But, uh, yeah, it's almost 3.30. Uh, yep, yeah, 3.30. Uh, I think they're working down the hall. There's a field quite a ways down that way, so. scratching on this road and you know seen some scat so this knob this big flat just keeps going and we walked almost to the, the end of where we could walk and uh, it's, we walked a pretty good ways not super far but now we're back at the main gravel road and we're gonna go up to another spot here and uh, we have some intel on if we can get on another one, fingers crossed.
hallway now. Still there, they're in the same spot. It's a pair of jacks or a pair of two year olds. I ain't about a two year old. No, I need it. But the law says I can't kill jacks. So. We're at home, it's nothing to get them to fly the river, but I wonder how hard it is here. Turns out there were five birds gobbling down in this hole. There's a creek down here that we can't cross. Private ground was a big field right here. And uh, they uh, are in there. Turned out the, we thought there was only two, but it was four birds gobbling at the same time. It just sounded like only two birds. And they were right down here on the other side of the creek. But, and they're just moving right along. Try to do some like people, like a bunch of birds gobbling, or I mean, birds fighting and eating, or both. <laughs> so it is what it is, but uh, it is a beautiful day in north central Arkansas. Absolutely gorgeous. Cold day, tomorrow's calling for rain all day long, so enjoy it while we can. Hey, the day is young, it's only, it's only, what, 722? 822, oh, jeez. So, Nate had to break his call out even. We we're gonna watch these birds walk away from us. We're up on a nice little knob here and uh, kind of some good open ground and that field we showed you is out in front of us probably two or three hundred yards down the there's a big creek between us but we're pretty sure the birds we heard yesterday and got on across that creek and those were the four that we saw down there and uh, a group of four two-year-olds. So hopefully we can get them to come up here. We're not gonna, we're not calling really. We're just gonna post up here, relax. And it's nine o'clock. We're gonna enjoy the, enjoy the scenery and the weather. Kind of take a break, just that kind of morning, that type of the time of the morning. Just kind of, you know, give it all a minute to settle in, see where things are moving and call a little bit here and there and there's a food plot actually behind us so a couple hundred yards or about 75 yards back in there so hopefully we can hopefully something will come in here hopefully we can get it done today at least one of us <laughs> few gobbles on the roost
seven. For over about 17 minutes, we had a uh, interaction with a hen came in behind us. Wasn't calling or anything. She just came in behind us and started cutting. Uh, we're sitting here on the edge of a field. And we actually have intel that we can get pretty close to this now, so. Um, we're just trying to see what happens this evening. Uh, took a little break. We got the hottest. And uh, just kind of went because of the heat. Took a little break. So now we're just uh, waiting to see if anything comes out here in the evening in these fields to pick around for grasshoppers and stuff. There's a lot of grasshoppers in these fields. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to see if we can get one knocked down here. Well, it is the end of day two. Empty hands. But that's all right. It's these afternoon days. These Easterns, they just don't, don't talk, so. It's like a light switch. It's either on or it's off, and it's been off for uh, I don't know most of the day. So, but now we have some more ground that we know we are able to hunt. Roosting birds was a waste of time last night because nothing gobbled. But we're gonna try again tonight. Rain moving in tonight. Uh, it's supposed to. It's, it's calling for very little rain, like in terms of inchage. How much? But we'll see. So we'll uh, see if we can get some something to gobble on the roost here, and then we'll yeah, we'll see you in the morning, hopefully for day three. Oh yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It's like. 8 39 o'clock and we we're just now getting out it has been pouring rain most of the night and all this morning but when you're hunting easterns that's good news because when the rain breaks it fields and we've got a few big fields around us there's one about 1200 yards away we can see three birds in the field right now so instead of checking other fields we're going to go to that one we got the guns, decoy, let's do it. Well, uh, sorry to video any of that, uh, it is raining. It took us about 40 minutes to get down to these fields here. Uh, in the meantime, there was a loud truck we heard at one point driving on, we're in the national forest now, not the private ground we're allowed to hunt, so there was a road that we ended up taking eventually and that truck was on that road which it was quite away from those turkeys but 40 minutes is a long time for turkeys to do whatever they want to do but I couldn't I don't know why they would have left what they would have done otherwise <clears throat> there's a fresh burn in this thick stuff right here can't really see it from here but they burned that not too long ago so anyway yeah well Oh, there goes, yep, there goes that. But it was raining, so I did not film hardly anything because it started raining on us again. But uh, we've got more fields and other properties we're going to check, so that's what we're going to go do. It's going to take us a while to get back, but we'll do it. Man, look at that view. or so, a lot of rain, and uh, so 
saw some birds in a field. A long way away, 1,200 yards on National Forest property. Decided to make a move and went dropping after him. Long story short, uh, they were gone by the time we got there. We don't know where they went. We ended up seeing one hen in a fresh burn uh, that was close to that field, but she spotted us and took off, so I don't know if she had two gobblers with her or not, but who knows? <clears throat> the wind is pretty high today. It's like 15 mile an hour winds. And uh, we are back in one of the draws that we've seen, that we've been in before. And we've just been working our way all the way around and we saw one gobbler in a field a long ways off. And uh, he's alone, called at him. And he just perked up, started listening. Took off into the hills on property we can, so that was weird. And yeah, today we we're back in here. We we worked our way back into this holler here, and we uh, this is this is the holler we've heard birds in the first day. So who knows? About 15 minutes ago, we heard the first gobble of the day. And that was, you know, 1.45 or so. And uh, it sounded up this up this draw, up in this area, or further back that way. Couldn't pinpoint his head, he wasn't very close, but called some more. And not heard anything since, so we're just going to be patient. Tomorrow's our last day. So, it's not supposed to rain anymore. Fingers crossed on that. So. Old timers will tell you, patience kills more turkeys than anything. So, that's what we're trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to be patient. But, anyway, we'll stay after it. Hopefully, we can get on the ground before we leave. Alright, just the game plan, folks. Video very much. It's been off and on rain, but this is one of the areas where we can. You saw us on the first day, all the way. This is a huge point that goes way, way out there and drops down into a field eventually. So the first day we walked in, this trail goes around along that way. We were there bird gobbled right in here. I mean, he was on top of us when he first gobbled. And we followed him. They just kept moving down the holler. Kept going. Today, I feel like we've been, me and Nick both, I feel like we've been playing catch up. We've been five steps behind them every day. So, the plan tomorrow. We've got some other plans. We're going to, we're, we're heading out at noon tomorrow we're pulling out so uh, Nate's got it's cabin season so he's kind of got to get back and we're pretty wore out I mean, we've been we've been hunting hard for three days all day every day I don't know, you know whatever uh, Nate's not used to this kind of stuff I used to hunt this stuff back home in East Tennessee but I've not hunted this kind of stuff in a long time mountains and hollers and stuff but, uh, the main reason I'm talking to you, you can see all that, all that, all along the road today, turkey scratching. So, they were in here today, and the, i tell you the other, the other reason we did not come on this knob the first two days, we had to go other plans, because there was a truck parked on this trail, at the beginning of the trail, every morning. So, here's the new plan. New plan. Tomorrow, dark 30. Get here way earlier than he does. We're going to walk in here and recover our darkness. And we're going to get in here somewhere in the middle close and listen for birds. And hopefully we can get at least one on the ground tomorrow before noon. Uh, so, yeah. That's what we're going to do. And we're... 
we're just gonna go back, relax. It's um, it's 3:30. A lot of people would call it an early time to quit. We just started gobble. Probably down south of that cabin. He might be on the other side of the creek, but that is a for sure gobble, probably 300 yards. Okay. Well, we are uh, down here at another spot. Spot we've been to a lot over the last few days. And uh, when I cut, you just saw I cut off the footage. Nate heard a gobble. So we ran down in here, hoping to see what it was, and couldn't tell how far away it was, and or I didn't hear it, because uh, I was talking. And, uh, came down in here, yelped a few times, didn't hear anything, didn't see nothing in these fields in front of us. And, uh, just a little bit ago, gobbled on the mountain across from us. On property we can't hunt, so... At least Nate's not crazy. So, he did in fact hear a bird. And it very well could have been the bird that we saw in the field earlier today, earlier this afternoon. And as soon as we yelped at him, he just literally ran into the woods. Which tells me he's been called to a lot or something. Which is odd since it's day three of Arkansas season. But anyway. I already told you the plan for the morning. Tomorrow's do or die. So we very well might die. We'll see if we can get it done. What's up everybody? Kyle here, Plains and Outdoors, and uh Nate is in the house doing a few things, getting some things put up in the cabin, so. But, uh, we are done hunting here in Arkansas. We, uh, hunted really hard, as hard as we could. And, uh, we got close a couple times and didn't hear very many gobbles over the entire trip. I mean, uh, these Ozark Easterns are just hard-headed tight-lipped but uh beautiful beautiful country reminds me of home i'm from east tennessee so this is a lot like what i'm used to hunting in uh nate had never hunted anything like this before he was extremely frustrated at first and i'm i'm frustrated too i should, you know but uh he was turned around a lot and everything and i'm like no it's this way you know we're going that way no that's north no this is that's east this is you know and uh, just things like that man what a beautiful place and uh very humbling uh humbling experience here arkansas is one of the one of the hardest hunts uh in the country is hunting arkansas um i believe that if i'm not mistaken hawaii rhode island nevada Arkansas and Louisiana are considered the top five most difficult uh, states to turkey hunt in. And uh, we're kind of spoiled in Nebraska a little bit. Um, I think some things need to be done conservation-wise in Nebraska. But um, but yeah, we have a lot of birds in Nebraska. And uh, there's just not a lot of birds here in Arkansas. And mountain, e mountain Easterns are just a lot, just a different bird, just a harder bird to hunt. Uh, Tight-lipped and... Uh, you can't see them you can't you know if they ain't talking it's hard to find them and uh just teaches you how to be a better hunter and a better woodsman and uh uh we're taking this as a as a good experience you know we had a great we had a great time and uh lost uh, lost some pounds and uh we are not leaving here uh 40 to 50 pounds heavier uh with with, with two long beards down but uh, that's all right. We're this was a, this actually was Nate's first out of state trip, I believe, uh, for to turkey hunt. That is, I don't think he's turkey hunted outside of Nebraska. Yeah. I didn't bring a camera today. We actually had a good encounter today. 
<clears throat> we've actually been competing with people, other people hunting on uh, other people's land that we are also allowed to hunt. So we don't want to step on toes. So, but we basically we heard three gobbles this morning, three different birds is what I should say. We heard two uh, in the same hollow we were in. We figured these birds would roost in and one way far off behind us somewhere. Well, and we got around, came back down into this field where we thought they'd be, they'd come out at eventually. And we got into that field at some, you know, probably, probably an hour after we heard them gobbling and pitching down. And they were quite a ways from us. I mean, they're 250 yards down the holler or so. But that's our, that this other guy we think was at. And we didn't want to go in there and step on toes. So, uh... We eventually got back up and around and back into this field and saw two birds out in this field coming right down, coming right down the field towards us. And uh, turns out it was uh, two jakes, and um, which is surprising because these birds that gobbled were, I would have swore they were longbeards. And as you see in Brandon's video, I swore that was a longbeard. But uh, I don't know if I need to, to relearn what... Um, what a Jake sounds like. But when I hear a Jake, I, when I hear a little Jake will gobble, I don't think what these birds were doing. Uh, they were they were loud. Uh, I could have swore they were long beards. Um, I mean, that was what it was it. The two of them together and in that holler just reverberated it and made it sound like it was long beards. But uh, yeah, didn't bring the camera this morning. We, it was the last morning. We were like, let's just. I'm not taking it. Let's just, just we just try to get some birds on the ground. So. And in Arkansas, you can't kill Jake's, so that's why that didn't happen. But um, yeah, so but it was a good morning. It was the closest encounter we had. I mean, they were within uh, shotgun range, and uh, I mean, we could have shot them for sure. Um, they were about 40, and they flew this creek and went to the other field. But uh i don't know if i would have uh, i've done it before uh i did it in kansas because uh, it's illegal and i wasn't about to eat tag sandwich so i shot one last week last year in kansas um i think we would have especially last day and as hard as we hunted i think we would have um but that's the laws of arkansas uh, i can't can't shoot jakes and that's that's fine so uh but uh yeah we're going to sign off here, and I uh, appreciate you all watching uh, Plains of Outdoors, and uh, sorry no kill this week, <laughs> or, yeah, but uh, hope you enjoyed the scenery, enjoyed watching, and uh, keep following us the rest of this turkey season. We, uh, we're probably going to hunt some, hunt some back home uh, in southeast Nebraska, and uh, then next week we're going to um, Valentine to hunt up there with Nate on his ranch so that'll be fun uh, I've been there before I've killed Miriam's there and they are it's a blast it's they're just it's a different kind of turkey hunting you know and it's a blast uh, be Brandon's first trip turkey hunting out there uh, Tyler will be his first turkey hunting trip out there so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a good time so uh, wish us luck we appreciate you all watching uh, stick up with us Plains and Outdoors guys see you later <laughs>